known by its map designation as Area 51. We're now learning Area 51. Known as Area 51. Thank you Near for clearing area that up. Area 51. Thank you. Known as Area 51. Because Area 51 is very important. They called him Jimmy. And everybody wanted to be his friend. Well, it's good. What's good? Welcome here, Area 51 here with your host, Jimmy. Give us a like, subscribe, and welcome to the jungle here in Golden Era. And uh, let's talk about this real quick. Wow, what a amazing fight by Cody Crowley. He did a really good job in this fight. He was putting a lot of pressure. He was showing the Canadian style. I know that Abel Ramos was coming in and he was trying to hold off. And Abel Ramos, one thing he likes to do is he likes to brawl. That's one thing that he's good at. And, you know, Cody Crowley was putting that pressure. And that's something that, you know, Canadians do very well. They know how to put pressure in. They know how to fight in that regard. That's something historical for Canada. They were one of the innovators when it came down to pressure fighting. So Cody Crowley was putting just immense pressure. And Ramos, who was throwing shots, but wasn't, wasn't um, like he was throwing shots about Ramos, but I felt like it wasn't enough to frustrate Crowley. And Crowley kept coming and kept coming and just throw through combinations after combinations and um it looked like about ramos was a little bit frustrated because he didn't know how to counter back he felt like he wasn't knocking him out even though cody crowley's face uh bur bursted up more you could see that you know he wasn't hurt he was he kept going and going and going but some people you know they get touched up more because you know the, the for whatever you know their, their their skin is thinner or something i don't know but um crowley crowley maintained that distance and then when it got in a phase of the fight, and that was in the later rounds where they started to box more, that's when it got a little bit more dangerous for Coley Crowley. Abel Ramos threw a shot, a right, and uh, Coley Crowley got caught, but he didn't put his two hands down the canvas, so he, he just put his two legs down. He hunched it down, he hunched it down without touching the canvas and got up, and um, that wasn't a knockdown. That wasn't a uh, rule of knockdown. So, you know, uh, they eventually saw the repetition and they didn't count as a knockdown. But Cody Crowley put in that pressure. Abel Ramos is a dog, so it was going to be hard to, to beat him with that sort of style that Cody Crowley was imposing. And, you know, congratulations to Cody Crowley, um, one of the only few Canadian fighters in the welterweight division, which is stacked with talent. Cooster Clayton was there. Now Cody Crowley has an opportunity to fight some of these fighters. I don't know that with his style he will beat certain fighters, but he can definitely give a run for the money for fighters, you know, who have a similar style to him. I just think he needs to polish his style a little bit more. But uh, congratulations to Cody Crowley and to Canada. Peace out. Give us a like here, subscribe. And uh, for more information, visit goldenboxing.com for more news stories and information. Deuces, cruces, and see you in the next one.